Welcome to Mike's Man Cave and in today's video we've got a barn find of an XB ute. We're getting the car out and unfortunately I've got enough cars and it's going to be sold along with the other one that we've got. They were both in the shed. One is sitting right there. It's already been taken out of the shed and if we spin around we can see the other one in the background right there. And we're getting that out today. Now, Jesse has been helping. And if you look back there, she has already gotten rid of all the other stuff. Now, as you can see, she's been helping and she's been getting all this stuff out and dumping it on my lawn. <laughs> I wonder if she's got enough saddles. I'm not sure, really. We've got one horse and we've got one, two, three saddles. Yeah, she's already sold two saddles because she thought five was a little bit too much for one horse. Anyway, let's have a look at this ute in the um, shed. There's my bike. Um, I think it's all running. And if anyone's interested, that might also be for sale for the right price. It's an original 1998 KTM LC4. And it's in perfect running order. It's got a brand new battery in it. And I have actually been riding it. That's why it's looking so filthy. From a little bit of mud on the um, riding track. Anyway, let's have a look at our barn find. One XB ute. This is a factory V8 ute. And I rescued this one from a farmer's paddock in northwestern New South Wales. It was literally sitting in the paddock. Lucky it's fairly dry out there. But it still does have a fair bit of original rust on it. And it's got the original dust layer as well. Do not jump on the... I don't know what that was. I'm assuming it's saying do not jump on the car while it was parked out in the paddock. Yeah, not sure what that means. The bonnet, it's got a few dings in it. And it looks like someone didn't listen unless someone had their butt planted up there and was sitting on it. And here's the ute. Original interior. And here's the tray of the back. Okay, it's been sitting in the back of the shed here for quite a few years and it has collected a decent layer of dust now i'm going to get it out today and we'll be doing that in this video and then she'll be up for sale this is a factory v8 xb ute original country car as you can tell from the steel bull bar that's still fitted to it now we've cleaned up a bit around it got rid of all the rubbish and made a clear way out. So let's just try and drag it out by hand to start off. Okay, let's do it. Where's Jamie gone again? Pull. Okay, here it is. First time seeing a little bit of daylight in a long, long time. Looks like it should fit, no problems. Only just. Plenty of space on that side. Now we've pushed the car out of the shed, but because this is uphill, we can't really push it uphill. So we've hooked it up to the front of our four wheel drive. We've got the main tow strap, which is the yellow one, and I've got the backup one, which is the blue one, just in case something goes wrong. You never know your bad luck in a small town. Now, this is where it's going. We've made a space for it. Oh, that's a dog there. And this is where we're going to be putting it for now. So we can give it a clean up and get it ready for sale. And here's the other one that's also for sale. Stop fluffing the dog. <laughs> Why is he eating his foot? Yeah, 
He's allergic to his own fur. What's, what's this? <laughs> Where's the other one? Now that's worked out all right. We've got that one out of the shed without causing any damage to anything. Got the motorbike over there, got the other trailer over there, which we'll sort out later. And here's the other ute. So we've now got both the utes out of the shed.